Morgan. I'm doing pretty well here. I'm getting very bold. Somebody else. Let's see what Damien again. Actually. You all get up to invent a new kind of slob. Just thinking jalapenos, maybe? When suddenly... Give it to me! It's my turn! Damien, Kate's third eye necklace is a powerful and dangerous magical artifact. You don't take turns with it. In fact, you don't touch it at all. But you've heard all day! Yes, because I got my fifth time with the father after he mysteriously turned evil following his son's third and finally death at Spook High. Now I'm keeping it safe. I'm not understanding what you're not understanding. I think the part you're not understanding is that I want it! Mm, that's a bit bratty, but... Mm. Oh boy, you're never gonna find any other jalapenos more at this rate. Let's take a sign and score some jalapeno brownie points. Let them be. Uh, I'm just some fine choice, but if it's such an artifact, this should save you a lot of trouble. And now, look, Lilith, normally if them breaking something would be my number one most expected outcome in any given situation. But Hecate's third eye necklace is very much indestructible. I've tried my most powerful magic side to no avail. In fact, a council of elders had been assembled to determine how best to destroy this relic and wipe its good from the face of the, he the earth. To break Hecate's third eye necklace, a great journey will have to be undertaken, entirely on foot with no air travel allowed, plus countless obstacles and enemies and... Hey, Joy! Your shiny relic is totally weak! I had for like two seconds and it just fell apart! Oh, oh, sneaky! It what now? Yeah, you are just talking for a really long time, so I got bored and took Nexus and just died but fucking around with it. Next thing I knew, it was in seven pieces. Seven? We haven't been here freaking two. Oh, Damien's so strong. Then I got mad for being such a relic, and... Okay, long story short, if you want the ashes to remember it by, or should I burn the ashes, and then burn the ashes of the ashes? One moment, please. I have a council of elders to address. Man, I hope this doesn't mean Joy won't let me fuck with cooler, better, less breakable artifacts. In the future. Stupid big ass hectate's bad eye necklace. So the Council of Elders frankly shook. They've never seen a dangerous magical artifact so quickly and efficiently destroyed. So, where does that put me? In an important position with them? Damon, how would you like to have a turn for some more artifacts? Oh. Damon's eyes light up with glee and he cries the bell cry of someone about to fuck a bunch of shit up. Want someone else with someone else's permission? Ooh. Well, it's last week. No, it's my. It's my get smart. That day you get lost in the woods. Decide to study a tree spark and moss pen to resolve the situation. By bringing one tree spark, you guys, which direction north is? I'm bringing enough half to learn exact age of trees and three years old. By bringing enough trees up, to learn that tree life. Tree like Irish protein leaves Buffy and Spike with an ultimate ship on Buffy the Vampire Sarah. Whoa, so much too smart. Game plus two spots. Ha! I knew it! Later, you're hanging out with Harvey and Damien in the woods. You're helping the two of them sound a bit. Damien, you're about to get fucking wrecked! I can for sure head out a tree better than you can, and I'm gonna do it right now to prove it! Dude. Fucking bullshit! Alright, my tree head but are ten burn times stronger than yours! Let's yeah. fucking sell this! Alright, let's make this a clean tree head buying contest. You two, stab rules, biggest trunk clearance. Here we go! On my count, three, two, one! Ah! Oh, hello! Look who wanders through my forest! A crowd of plump, delicious, fresh children! Mmm! Hello, children! Oh no, the old witch who lives in the woods! The Baba Yaga! T 
TPQH. She's annoying as hell, and Empire shut knows up. it. It's not a big deal. Hey, shut up! Don't you know it's rude to interrupt our tree head blind contest? Now my forehead velocity's gotta be thrown up by 0.002 milliseconds. Yeah! Tell us what you want! If so, I'll push your forehead through a fucking Ew. tree trunk. You guys, quick style. Am I the only one who knows that Fabiaga smells so much like soup? The soup smells overwhelming me right now. I can't get over it. Uh, I'm so very sorry. The Fabiaga did not mean to interrupt you, Tasty Children. It's just that I'm in need of a big, strong child. Help me with a chore. See my house? Is it a different house? The, the Fabiaga points to the bus. Yep, her house is like boy feet away. Standing on chicken leg. It's super creepy and smells like children pops. You see, children, the Baba Yaga's oven is broken. I need a toothsome, savory child to climb inside and fix it. But there's only room for one child, which you will help me. Whoa, your oven's broken? I'll help you, even though you're a super weird old lady that sits in a bowl. Oh no, that's a trap. <laughs> you're outraged. Game picking this fucking moment to stop a hidden like my no, boy scout who's going to do a chore for no late. She's up she's gonna eat him. What? No, I just love being inside ovens. No. The wall and shit. Loser. Back off, Damon. I'm helping the Baba Yaga. This is a side quest, if I've ever seen one. Plus, you're too much of a wiggling to fix an oven anyway. <laughs> oh. Fuck off! Fuck then, fuck you! I'm fixing that oven, and there's nothing you can do to stop me! Hee hee hee! Yes! Fight, children, fight! I can't wait to feast on the lean, cursed fire child, or perhaps the spicy red baby! Wow, your friend's dumb. If they get into Baba Yaga's oven, it's perfectly obvious that he's gonna cook and eat them. So, figure something on some way to not have that happen. Hmm. Into the. Oh, this. Yes! <laughs> Rocco is a ghost rare Fabio Hulo that you know, and he always smells super delicious. You lure him into the woods, and Fabiaga beats the ball of you into her weird house. Hey, Rico said. He's so fucking cool, and always wears sunglasses. This house, it's got like. Some private energy, I dig it. Rocco, I know that you're 50% Fabioli and 50% werewolf, but you're 100% the most swell motherfucker I've ever met. Ah, I'm intrigued by you, strange child, made of pasta. Love to children smell like milk rats, but you're making my tangled mouth water. That pork filling they smell? Hey, thanks, Lee. Got a sharp nose. I d and don't you worry. Your old lay head over this oven from. I picked up the sport, so I'm your guy. Here's the thing though, I might be a little too overstuffed to fit inside some. So just let me cook myself an olive oil before I hop in there. Oh. Yes! Yes, child! Slap yourself in my cooking oils. And just in case, I'm gonna throw a little salt and pepper on my part of flesh. To help you get a better grip on the oven part I'll be fixing. Oh, oh. oh you're not too bright. Tight! Rocco, I can tell you fixed tons of them. That makes complete sense. And let me throw some rosemary into my mouth. It's unlikely, but just in case the oven accidentally turns on one in there, it'll smell dumb until I get out. <laughs> yes, Rocco, the way from you! You're the punk child of my dreams! Huh, don't mention it, Lee. I'm just a type of ravioli that goes above and beyond. Rocco sighed in the oven, and the Baba Yaga slammed the oven door shut and turned on the broiler, keeping Rocco alive. His screams are terrible, but damn, he smells delicious. Wait, the oven works fine, so holy shit! The Baba Yaga is gonna eat us? That was meant by fixing her oven? Fuck you guys, I did not see that coming! Huh? Me neither! This was a twist! I feel like I'm watching Lost! I guess you were pretty great. I totally agree! Never saw it coming. Honestly, I'm just glad that Lil had the foresight 
Checked by the potion Rocco to save our lives. Nice work. About 25 minutes in the oven. is fully dead and perfectly cooked. The Baba Yaga invites you to stay and enjoy her ravioli dinner together. Oh, that sounds delicious. You have tons of power with the Baba Yaga and your friends. Those boys so delicious that you gain plus two bows, plus one spots. A friendship. Oh, wait, it. A new day, a new it's not the fire week. So give me more creativity, won't it? That day, there's a guest speaker at the Monster Scout HQ. She's a rare Eagle Monster Scout here to tell you about advancing for the levels. Her speech is surprisingly interesting. She started out at Camp Spooky just like you, and worked super hard to earn every single badge. She also hints at some possible foul play, including her murdering a high-level scout and wearing her skin as a disguise in order to advance for the ranks. Sure is inspiring. You're too busy flirting with your friends to dedicate that power of time to monster scouts. But still, you inspire, you despise you. With plus two creativity, yes! Good. Get good stats now. Hey, you're listening to Coach's pep talk about selling monster scout cookies. You're paying attention because Coach is the only far figure in your life right now. And that's why, and that's why selling monster scout cookies teaches both survivals. And entrepreneurship. Remember, no matter how many cookies you sell, I'll always be proud of you, kids. Meh. My dad's are already super proud of me for being the most fail self of all time. Hmm. I'm not selling shit. Same. I've got some reading to do this afternoon. I'm halfway through a practical witch's guide to navigating absurd shenanigans. Yeah, I'd rather put all these cookies in my inventory and save them for my next neighbor's fight. These things are shockingly nutritious, and they give a defense <gasps> off. Huh? That's weird. Do you, do you guys smell a strange off-putting scent of camp-destroying bulldoze and capitalist pollution? Mr. Oh fuck, it's annoying me! Building shopping malls, the oh. game. Well, well, well. If this is a bunch of poverty-stricken youths, is I, Mr. Papas, evil CEO, I just stop by to crush your spirit my capitalist machinisms. What the fuck are you talking about, you cravat wearing dweeb? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Look here, you s In my fist, I have need to the very campground you're standing on. I'm gonna turn this channel into a shopping mall. Oh, no, you're not. And the best part is, there's no way for you to stop me. Why, you'd have to sell 1,000 boxes of your prepared cookies to have enough money to buy the campground mm. yourself. That's an idea. Uh, dude, why the fuck are you telling us, Elvis? My height, or did he tell us exactly how to fire his evil skin? Damn kids! Yeah. Ugh, you fools! I'm telling you because it's impossible. You'll never sell 1,000 bucks of cookies in time. I'm bulldozing this entire place at midnight tonight. Ha! <laughs> I'd love to stay and brag more, but I have an appointment with my therapist. And by purpose, I mean a uh, well that I'm going to drown in threads of oil for fun toodles. Okay, this got real. My son will cookies no matter what. I'm going to let that piece of shit capitalist. I'm not going to let that piece of shit capitalist destroy our love camp. Please me us, you guys. Hmm. Yeah. How are we going to do this? Yeah, that money grubbin noob insult us. Do you think that we can sell 1,000 bucks of cookies? We can't sell 1,000 bucks of cookies? All That's bullshit! Yes! Yeah. How dare he challenge our skills! Game on, motherfucker! And yet, yeah, I guess we should defend uh, the trees or whatever. Hey, Kate, help me. The point is, is what I'm all in. We've just got to figure out how to sell 1,000 cookies by midnight. Yeah, it is. Face juicy comes up with mask plans. <laughs> um. Okay, how about this? We find Ram Guy and just beat the shit out of him until he buys a bunch of cookies. And then we do it 1,000 times. Uh, Maybe. Though. What if we just ate all the cookies and said that we saw them? My personal speed eating record is 28... 208... Uh, 284 cookies per hour. Um, but we won't get any money. It's going nowhere. But luckily, we have the first way to sell 1,000 cookies of... What's a monster cookie for midnight? 
Your whole life has been building up this moment. Hmm. <gasps> uh oh. Done. A rich people auction? That's perfect! Rich people are idiots. Plus, I pick up this fire and said there's a secret mill in it. Auction of a century artwork tonight. Once heck is lying, you can cut the last plan, take advantage of everyone's special skills. Go sneak into the auction right before it starts. Alright, uh, uh Barry, the auction is right around this corner. Check me out by it, and we'll be running the show in no time. Stealth mission? Ha! Come on, this rubber fuck is going down without a peep. Wait, don't kill him, okay? I very strict rule. No human casualties, even doing ah. acts of heroism. Psh, I'm totally not gonna kill him. I already stabbed the auctioneer right in the heart, immediately killing him. Oh. Go get in position for your master plan, mm. and the auction begins. Oh, like those suits. Welcome to the Rich People Art Auction. I'm your auctioneer for the evening. We have such fine goods for you to film, such as these goods made of human bone. And rare sculpture titled 1000 Bucks of Monster Scout Grief. This sculpture is priceless for part by legendary contemporary us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stamping. These cookies are definitely art. As a millionaire bad boy, Prince of Hill, I demand to bed for the cookies. Wait, alright. Did you say bullets made of human bone? Oh. That's the most male thing I've ever heard. Puff cookies. I bet 50 grand on the fucking bone bullets. If the prince desires the bone bullet, then so I. There's one of the random rich people. Me too, says another guy. Hanging around camp. Your blood diamonds all done. Um, ahem. Prince Hell, don't you want to get for a cookie instead? Remember the, the cookies? The reason why we're doing this? That cookie sculpture is asked. A bit dice up. It lacks the raw primal artery of the bone bullet. I bet one hundred thousand. Fight me, dude. Hey, those bullets mine. You can't have them. Slut bag. I bet one million dollars. Game goes back and forth in a big war for like an hour. He eventually wins the bullet, but the rich people completely God, forget about the cookies. Fire. Well, that was a fucking stupid idea. Thanks a lot, Liv. Now I kill that girl for nothing. It's all in your hand, you know? Oh. Yeah, you're a bad friend. You try to let me out pay for these but Why didn't you warn me that to object I bring temporary happiness? You I fucking moron. You oh. fuck this up. I'm not disappointed in you, Liv. I'm disappointed in myself. I should know that your ideas are doomed to failure. Oh, darn. Thanks. It looks like you really fucked up the boost this time. See who doesn't, uh... He's gonna be looking to suck more up tonight, but... Only because his... He's in his word, edging. Let's think about that makes you smile to just fun my fun bonus. Oh, damn. Go story! Go story! That's not for this episode. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later.